This class is Escape the Mount. So we have buck and roll and knee to elbow, intermediate. So we're going to do the high and low for buck and roll, or for knee to elbow, and then we're going to work a little more into the, uh, into the buck and roll. First of all, the movements they have to have. The first one is for the knee to elbow. My hands are in, I get on my side, move my hips out, shoulders. Hips, shoulders. Always keeping my shoulders perpendicular to the mat. Never doing this. Flat again. So they're going to go all the way across the mat on this side. Then they're going to go all the way across the mat on this side, just so they get that movement. Okay, the next drill that I like to make sure they do well is for the buck and roll. When they're here, they're in, they trap the arm, they've trapped the foot, they're going to lift their hips as high as they can. So my head goes to the side and I lift as high as I can. From here I push with my forearm, turn over, come up. I think that's an important drill for them to do. So here we go for the buck and roll. Here's what I like to see. Professor King is mounted on me. First of all, my elbows are in. Every time he mounts, he should try to get up between my arms, and I shouldn't let him. They need to get in that habit. If he gets up, I build a frame. Sit tall, please. Make a fist, cross the hip, grab it, scoot, 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 scoot. Now I'm in a good position again. Now, for the first drill, he's just going to put his hands on me. This is buck and roll. Grab, grab, block. Grab, grab, block. Grab, grab, block. Block. My elbow's in, so I can always switch to the knee to elbow. But I go one, two, three, four, five, ten times at least, so they get used to that. Then he's going to put his hands on the floor. Remember, if he punches, my only defense is to buck. I cannot lift my hands up like this to block it. I'm going to get punched in the face too much. So my hands stay here. If I'm uncomfortable, boom, I put them on the floor. Sit up for a sec. If the guy's trying to pin my hand, especially if I'm smaller, I put it flat and I protect it with the other hand so he can't pin my hand on the mat. So he tries to go on the other hand, swim over. He tries to go on the other hand, swim over. So I never let my hands get on the mat like this. Also, when he tries pushing, if I'm uncomfortable at any point, I just lift my hips and it makes him put his hands on the floor. The next drill, his hands are on the floor. A little farther away from me, I reach up, pull it in, get ready. Get ready. Make sure you're switching the feet. You want to have it hooked only on the side that you're rolling to. So hook, bang, hook, bang, okay? There's basically, then the last one is right here. He scoops around my head, right here. I'm gonna trap, pat, and then my same buck right there, pushing with my forearm. He goes the other side. So I'd like to see just this, bang. Stay there, stay on that side, boom. Boom. And then when I go to take him over, it's here. Goes in with that forearm. If the guy's sitting tall and he's holding out a hand on my neck, it's important to understand this. I don't have to break this down to bring him to me. I just hold, hold there. Now I lift my hips until I get contact with my right forearm. Then I push. And there's my buck and roll. Cut. This one's knee to elbow. We looked at the... Uh, Need elbow for the intermediate class. We looked at the warm-ups at the last, the, last, uh, the last clip. So now, it's time to do it. First thing is I don't want to get caught on my back. So when I get mounted, I blew it, boom. I get on my side right away. Look at my hands right here. Can we scoot this way so they can see, please? My hands are in. His knee has to be higher a little bit, so I have a little bit of bite on him this way. Hold on, Mark. So my hands are going to be one. Sometimes I'll grab right here so he doesn't pin it. Okay, as I get out, I'll sometimes put it here, but I want to be careful he doesn't get control of that arm and push it down. So I'm right here. Now he stays on top of me. I move my hips out. I bring my knee through. At this point, this left hand pummels under, and I right away move to my other hip, push, and put him in the guard. This is the high one. Here's a movement, uh, an exercise that we need to make sure they know how to do. And it's this. Just have him do it on the mat. Reach over. Now I'm going to pull my hip all the way through to the other side. Reach over, other side. Reach over, other side. You can't do this without it, because I get in, hips, shoulders, reach. Now I gotta get all the way to the other side if I'm not gonna get stuck in half guard. So it's right here, look. Boom, palm will push, and then I'm there. Good, next is the low. The deal with the low mount is I have to win the fit battle. So the foot battle, if you grade finds, I extend, then I'm looking to trap a foot and get my foot flat on the floor. 
My other one's curled tight, so we can't hook it. From here, I don't need to get. My shoulders should be able to stay flat on the floor. I tilt my hips, reach with this hand, and I scoop as I push. Not the same thing on the other side. So here we go again. I trap his foot, put it flat, turn my hips, scoop, pull it over, and push. This is not something I put in the class unless it was a pretty advanced class. But if, he's, if his arch is real flat on the floor, so I can't scoop, I'm doing this and I can't scoop, then sometimes I'll go like this to pick it up. Now I'll come under, now I'll grab, now I'll do the same thing. So the battle of the feet to get your feet in position so they're ready to be able to escape is the biggest battle for this class. Um, once again, as I always say, make sure they have 20 minutes of drilling and stuff that's fun. At the end of class, make sure they're sweating, they're smiling, and they learn something. If you're not, when you're shaking their hands, you don't see sweat on their brows like I have right now, or you don't see them smiling like they had a good time, then we need to focus on making more happen in the class. If you got a small class, please make sure you have time to get on the mat with each student. They should be leaving a raving fan of your class. Thank you, sirs.